Hello and welcome to Man Out Guys Racing and uh, a look in race room at the latest cars to drop, which are the WTCR 2021 pack. Now, the WTCR 2021 pack is uh, not exactly all new. The cars that are in here, the RS3 LMS Audi is apparently an updated version of the 2021 uh, 2020 car. It's uh, about 10 more brake horsepower and a little bit lighter, I believe. Cooper Leon's exactly the same as the 2020 car. The Honda Civic is the same as the 2020 car. The Lada Vesta TCR is the same as the free Lada Vesta. Uh, the Lincoln Co is exactly the same as the 2020 car. And the Hyundai Elantra is actually a brand new car that's not in a game anywhere else. So... I'll take two of the cars, namely the Audi and the Hyundai round Silverstone, and hopefully the game won't crash whilst I'm doing it. So let's start with that one. And we're already on Silverstone, around the Grand Prix track. I was going to use the um, National Circuit, but it's got a missing uh, curb coming out of Maggots onto the Wellington Straight. Uh, so thought I'd try the International Circuit and that's also got a missing kerb on the inside kerb of the corner leading onto the hangar straight. Um, both times I totally fucked the car finding that out. So um, at least this one's got all its kerbs in the right places or at least the ones you need. Um, I think I've got this set on two times for the fuel use so don't panic if it looks like it's eating fuel. It's because I've actually still got it on two times fuel. Now, I haven't got a clue what a really good lap race around here, but uh, I did a couple of laps and I did a 2.14, so I'm expecting somewhere between a 2.13 and 2.14 to be about where I should be. Right, in terms of feel, um, it's typical front wheel drive. So a little bit of torque steer, but in usual race room fashion, not excessive, so it's not a bad feel. Uh, it's certainly not uh, feeling like it's going to tug you all over the track every time you uh, go on or off the throttle, so it's pretty good. Now, that's always a bit of a pain in the arse corner for the obvious reason you're breaking sort of down towards the apex usually and uh, trailing the brake all the way in. So that's the sort of point where you're likely to find the back end trying to overtake the front end if you're not careful. And I think this has actually got a bit more lift off oversteer than the uh, other cars in the pack. I think the uh, centre of Cooley Audi always did have a bit more lift off oversteer. And the uh, WTCC and T uh, W, uh, whatever it was called before that, and since that, see there, it was trying to uh, get away a little bit. So I'm fairly sure I've driven the Audi. Uh, uh, which version was it? The A2018 in a championship. It might have even been one of the WTCC rather than the WTCR, and it was a little bit oversteering, but. Not in a bad way, or well, not in a really bad way, should we say. If you find the brakes are a little bit sharp, if you're not careful, it's quite easy to lock up and then uh, trying to get the uh, rotation to recover after you've locked up, so you're lifting off the brakes and see how far you have to lift off. It's actually quite difficult. Again, you can it was a bit of lift off oversteer coming in there. We can still trail into the uh, apexes quite nicely with a little bit of brake. Mind the sausage. Overall, it's uh, quite a reasonable car. I would have to sit there and do a load of back-to-back -back tests between this and the 
Pretty just want to see if there's any major difference. I don't think there is. Cer certainly not enough to uh, warrant you going, oh, that's completely different. It's similar enough that you'd notice it was like it's got the same DNA basically. Like I said, it's got, it feels like it's got a bit of lift off over steer, whereas some of our cars don't. Looks at the little purple thing up the top there and goes, I can't remember what time I was doing before, so... Mm. Like I said, we're on two times fuel usage, so it's already coming up low fuel! I'm just trying to remember if uh, Racer Room has updated Silverstone because it's got a lot more gravel traps. I think. Like out of here, there's a lot less runoff. Is it my imagination or have they updated it? One more lap, see if we can go a little bit quicker. Did it again. Obviously, like that sausage. I think like a sausage sandwich. I say not too bad on talk steer. It's certainly uh, one of the better games for front wheel drive cars. Some of them are absolutely bloody terrible. A bit of a, let's chuck it in a bit too much there. told me last time. Get my nose tucked in nicely. Thirteen four, not bad at all. Now, like I said, that feels quite good. I th like I said, I haven't driven the uh, the previous years of late, so it still I seem to recall feels pretty much like it did for the uh, previous years. So let's try the where are we over here? High and I Said it was Gabrielli Tarquini, did it? Oh, I'm guaranteed to be fast with his name on the side of the car. Sometime later. Right, here we go. I'm not sure I want to be a bit further away like that. So I'd have close to get to the how close should I get? Trying to get it so my hands don't get in the way of what I'm looking at too much. Wow. 
Yeah, I don't know if this is a uh, longer wheelbase, shorter wheelbase, how much different it is to the previous one though. Whatever that was called, I can't remember. Lock up on the brakes. Cold tires down out, of course. But... I see any trouble jumping from my car, and I'm not, uh, I don't always handle the same. And you think, I was just doing this, and then can't necessarily do it in the other car. Stability wise, it feels a lot less likely to chuck the back end of the scenery than the uh, Audi. If anything, it actually feels a little bit more understeery than uh, oversteery. Which, if that suits your driving style, is great. If it doesn't, tough. <laughs> Put up with it. Or just a setting, assuming you're in a Race that allows you to adjust in. A little bit too much grass there. Right, start a time lap. Or maybe it has got as much oversteer. <laughs> Certainly feels a little bit easier to lock the brakes up. But I think the uh, tyres haven't warmed up quite as much yet, so... We will give it two laps. Only fair. That's what we go with the uh, Audi. Absolutely stone-cold bright blue rear tyres, as always, so... Too much grass again. I think it's got a slightly better initial turn in, so it's a bit. It's a bit easier to throw it into the corners a bit too hard if you're not careful. Good bit, just needs the uh, steering ratio adjusted. That's a bit better, not quite so much girl set to it. Oops. Strangely, next lap will not count. I think I broke the car. <laughs> Right, I'll now have to do two laps to warm the tyres up properly and try not to uh, <coughs> sausage it. I 
must be sitting slightly further back, possibly, in this than I was in the uh, Audi, because I can actually see the uh, apex, so I could avoid sausage in it there. I'm assuming the sudden squeals are as the uh, rear tyre gets put down as you turn in and then stop turning in quite so hard, the rear will go up and uh, sort of tricycle a bit and then, and then come down. Classic front wheel drive touring car when it on three wheels as they go around the corner and then uh, drop the rear again which is probably not rotating therefore it goes squeal when it drops Avoid the sausage. Get me Wellingtons on for the straight. That weren't quite right, was it? Definitely feels a little bit less tail happy than the uh, Audi, but uh, it's not a huge amount, isn't it? When it starts to slide, it's more sort of broad slide than uh, oversteer a lot of the time, so a little four wheel drift. How's that? No idea. That's better. No, don't eat that one. So, not a million miles off what I did with the uh, Audi. I think I've been here in a minute. Right, a little bit earlier and... So, I picked up four tenths just from 
get in front in the, into the corner of it, which is uh, quite useful. Lots of squealing, no more speed. Or maybe a little bit on the exit. Again, better exit. Now, I will say that probably taking the Audi first means uh, getting used to the uh, vagaries of the front wheel drive car again. It takes a couple of laps. So, probably they're pretty much of a muchness. I mean, you're talking 0.8 of a second. Uh, between the two, I, I, over 2 minutes 12, so that's like uh, less than half a percent, probably. Yeah, about that. Half a percent difference in performance, so pretty close. Um, I think the Hyundai's a little bit more stable, generally, but not a lot in it but I will just quickly he says hoping he can't fuck it up by running the car just try the best uh, just for a laugh I haven't done a lot with the Vesta <coughs> should really call it the Swan shouldn't they match made in heaven and all that crap Some time later. Steering wheel was the wrong shape. I don't know if that says anything about the age of the car, it hasn't even got a form of star wheel. Mirrors in the way. Raise it up and move it back a little bit, maybe. Does that help? As bad as my bloody motorcycle. Something on the uh, aerodynamics of the uh, fairing whistles at certain speeds and it's so fucking annoying. I mean, a 40 mile hour limit is doing it all the time because it's just a, about the 40 mile an hour mark it usually does it. So you yeah, ride along this bloody thing's whistling at you. Shut up!
This actually feels more neutral than the uh, Holland, I think. Same gear might be a bit short. Just got slightly shorter gear in maybe. Yes. It's a bad one, I was doing with the others. That's about what I was doing with the others. So it's going to be in the ballpark. No surprises really, because you would hope they're all within the... a few tenths of each other around my circuits, and I tried them on a couple of different circuits, and they're pretty damn close. It usually comes down to the slowest one's the one I take first, followed by the next one, followed by the fastest one where the last one I try. Just seems to be the way it goes, so... Like I said... That weren't quite right, was it? But it does feel really nicely sorted, this car. But... Oh, it's a little bit iffy on the brakes like the other was. Uh, you feel like you're about to have a little bit of uh, excessive rotation if you're not careful. By which I mean you're going to spin! <laughs> yeah, definitely a little bit of rotation that uh, I expected there. about half a second up on what I did on the previous lap, I believe. On the simple assumption that this car has had more time to be developed by the studio than some of the others, uh, it might be a little bit better on its base setup, but they're on pretty much much of a muchness. I mean, one second between three cars over two minute twelve lap. It's fairly insignificant, really. And like I said, if I reverse the order, I'm probably fine with being slowest in the larder. It's the way it goes, but um, uh, what do I recommend you buy? Um, well, like I said, I think the uh, the Audi is about as close as you're going to get to the previous one. It might have a uh, a tenth here, maybe. Uh, I think it might be slightly less um, oversteer than the previous model, but not by a huge amount. And like I said, I think it's got about ten brake horsepower more, which is. 
only worth it if you can actually put it on the ground. Um, the Hyundai, obviously a brand new car, uh, not in any other class, so yeah, get that one. And it seems to be quite nice. Uh, reasonably neutral for a front row drive car, so give it a shot, see what you think. Uh, you can always try it for nothing before you try before you buy, um, as always in Racer. So no loss to give it a shot. Um, uh, but I will say it's it's good enough. I think I think the pack was a tad expensive. I think without the discounts, it's twenty four quid for the whole lot, which I thought blimey. I think when I got it the other day, it was fifty five percent off, so it's eleven pounds. So it's currently forty four percent off, so it's about fourteen fifteen quid for the whole lot if you want to buy everything. So a little bit steep, in my opinion. But opinions like arseholes, everyone has got one most of all this shit so there you go right that'll do for me um uh, enjoy racing etc etc uh have fun and uh, i'll see you soon goodbye um, i forgot to have a look at the uh outside of the car didn't i so uh, here's a quick look at it um mm, that's that's one side uh, and if i actually try using the correct keyboard and uh Hitting the button there, I might be able to rotate the camera. Yeah, yeah that's better. Usual model quality. It's quite nice. It's a very different shape to the the old uh, Hyundai. It's a bit more. Um, it's sort of somewhere between a, a hatchback and a saloon, with the more um, sloped rear end so hmm, quite a nice looking car just go back to uh back to what we were looking at quick bonus how not to take this corner i thought i'd held it oh, i hadn't held it 